maybe first I will introduce uh, the binary varieties. Maybe uh, most of you knows what it is. But I will fix the set settings here. And uh, Okay, so I will work on a base S to be a regular scheme. And uh, with one over two in the global section of S. And if you don't like this base to be a regular scheme, you can just take a, a S to be spec K. K is a few of a characteristic different from two. And uh, by E beta, I mean uh, non-degenerate. Symmetric bilinear form. over S, okay. And uh, uh, let me make the first definition. So I define. Sorry, E is a mm -hmm. vector bundle over S? Yes. E, e is a vector bundle and beta is the symmetric bilinear form okay. on E. Okay. So I define uh, OG of E to be uh, on the functor of points, to be of all the n dimension subspace or a sub bundle of this. Grassmann bundle and uh, with the condition that Ln equals to the orthogonal of Ln. That means uh, this is a Lagrangian. And uh, I collect all the Lagrangian in E. Certainly, if this uh, is non-empty, it's uh, E is a metabolic space. So let's uh, remark this is a closed sub-scheme of Grossman bundle NE. So in my talk, uh, I will take E to be n direct sum of uh, standard hyperbolic space on S. So uh, let me write this out. This is. Okay, and uh, I will also fix uh, this orthogonal basis and uh, E. So Basically, uh, on this orthogonal basis, I have uh, this gram matrix. So E1, EN, 
fn1 to fn, okay, e1 to en. So you can see I take, take this to be orthogonal basis. That's my uh, standard setting here. And uh, uh, the next one, I also want to fix some standard flag on this hyperbolic space. So and uh, this uh, starts from let me denote uh, zero by e zero so e one and uh, then goes to EN then goes to the whole space. So this is denoted by E bullet. Okay, this is a flag and uh, Uh, where this uh, EI, I mean, precisely is the subspace generated by this basis. To EI, okay. And uh, if you define EI like th this, then EI also gonna will be to fi uh, plus one, okay. And uh, remark, so this uh, looks like a tribute, but uh, th uh, this is actually important for our uh, set settings later. So I define E1 to be E1 also going to mode out E1. So it's generated by the basis without E1 and F1. And this EI plus one mode out E1. And uh, you have an induced flag. You, you first uh, uh, can view E upper one as a hyperbolic space. So this flag starting Again, on uh, E10, and then go to E11. 
and I'll go to E1 and minus one, which is E1 and minus one orthogonal, but that's orthogonal is taken to be the uh, hyperbolic form on here. So it's not from the previous step. And uh, And uh, call this E1 bullet. This is a standard hyperbolic black. Okay. And uh, you can do this inductively. And uh, uh, you get Uh, standard hyperbolic form. EJ and uh, standard hyperbolic flag. EJ bullet, okay. And uh, in this set setting, I uh we have the following result. This uh scheme OG and. As two is jumped. Uh, isomorphic. Components. Uh, explicitly, they are given by the following. So, the first component I denoted by OG plus. It's all this uh, Lagrangian in OGN we defined before, such that the dimension of ENK, where here K is the function field. of S intersects with uh, L and K okay and uh, the other components uh, if I uh, similarly but uh, with, with, with uh, this, the parity change, and the I take a minus one here. So they are obviously disjoint. But the question is why they are isomorphic. But this is uh, well known in literature for. S to be a algebraically closed field or C. So you can. The key idea in this proof is uh, you, yes. So let's write this out first. So this is a disjoint. And uh, to show they are isomorphic, we need to define a map.
So this map can be given by an automorphism. Say uh, tau. Uh, so on, on the basis, so you can uh, divide this map by sending this uh, elements in the basis. Like uh, follows E1, go to E1, and uh, EM up to EM minus one is all goes identity, and uh, F1 to F minus one to uh, map them by the to themselves, but they use the warp EN and FN for uh, this map. Okay, so this is the automorphism you want. And you need to check how is an isomorphism. This is obvious. Okay, since it's a evolution and a, an automorphism of rank two, so certainly iso. And the tau is compatible with the dimension formula. And uh, this requires some work. So you have to show uh, this tau defined like this sends to this correct component. And, uh, So, and uh, there's a remark. Uh, OG plus one is the base. OG plus two is P one. And uh, this is uh, called the uh, Sabina varieties. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, let me give you <clears throat> my main results. I guess all the people here are familiar with uh, K-theory and the weight groups. So I want to talk about uh, how to define these weight groups. But uh, <clears throat> this is my uh, set setting here. So I define the total weight group as uh, the sum of I in Z mode four. As we all know, the weight group is four periodic. So that this is a Z mode four graded uh, ring. Okay. And uh, I will work on this definition of total weight group. 
And uh, in literature, there's another total weight group involving this light bundles. But uh, I, I won't do this because uh, weight group of spinal varieties with non-trivial light bundles always zero, as we will see later. So there's a simplification is enough for us. And uh, the first the theorem today is about the computation of total weight group of spinal varieties. I denote the brackets to be the set of D elements starting from zero. And uh, PD, this is the power set. of the bracket and uh, suppose n is odd and uh, can be written as 2d plus 1 then Uh, the total weight group of OG plus N, that's the spinal variety we defined at the beginning, is the direct sum of uh, this graded W to uh, total S module. Uh, uh, with a shift, rho t. Here, uh, so this isomorphism is uh, graded w dot s module isomorphism. And, uh, Where this row is the function uh, from P D brackets to Z, sending so you have uh, T is empty and also T can be written as T one up to T i, and this sends to zero if it's empty and uh, the sum from s equal to one to i and uh, three minus two n minus two t s but uh, this is the main results okay uh, this is a strange function but uh, there is a Nice interpretation of uh, this function in terms of combinator roots. And uh, this is uh, called even uh, shifted Young diagram. So uh, OGN is corresponds to this even shifted Young diagram of shape inside uh, a minus one to one. And uh, this uh, uh, partition from one to a minus one is a shifted uh, diagram. 
Yang diagram. Okay. Maybe uh, let me give you an example. Uh, let's take n is a seven. Okay. So n is a seven, d is a three, and the d brackets is a uh, one uh, zero one two from my definition here. Okay. And uh, the power set of D uh, has eight elements. Okay. Now I want to uh, log in this. So, uh, yes. And uh, I want to write out the shifted Young diagram. So this is the shift the young diagram of uh, shape six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. And uh, I want to have eight of them since the power set of two brackets has eight elements. Okay, so uh, again, so now we have eight of them and uh, So uh, the first one I want to start with is uh, one, two, three. Maybe move this down a little bit. Okay, so this is one, two, ah, sorry. This is a... Uh, Zero, one, two. 
And uh, zero, one, two is uh, you look at uh, two co co columns, uh, two rows at a unit, and the label it as zero, one, two. Okay. And uh, zero means you take the whole two rows, and the one means you de delete it. This box. And the two uh, means you deleted the two box and uh, you left with this. Okay. And the uh, next one is uh, zero one. So again, you write a zero in here and a one in here. And uh, You uh, get this and you don't have two, so you don't show the last three. And uh, also uh, you can do the same thing to uh, zero two. And also uh, one, two, and down to here, this guy is uh, zero. This is one, <coughs> this is two, and this is uh, empty, okay. So uh, corresponds to this P here, okay. And uh, uh, one, two is you have uh, one box removed. So you have this one and uh, one box removed. And the uh, two box removed, you have this. And the zero uh, means you have the full first two row. And the one means you deleted a box in this uh, first two row. Two deleted the two box. And empty is you do nothing. Okay, this is a bijection from this uh, even shifted young diagrams. And uh, uh, why it's called even? It's because all these uh, inner segments are all even. So I labeled it as uh, blue, they are either zero or two or four. So they are, yeah, even. This is deserve the name, even shifted the young diagram. <coughs> and uh, also uh, this fun function in here uh, can be, uh, is precisely the value of the number of boxes in here. This is uh, 21. And uh, so row T is uh, minus 21. Uh, then there are 18 box in the, in here. And uh, this is uh, minus 18. And the uh, number of box in here is minus 14. And the number of box in here is minus 10. Okay, and uh, you write out everything.
And this is zero. Okay. And uh, that's the interpretation, interpretation of our main results. And uh, also what happens if N is even? So firstly, in theorem A, we have uh, n is odd. It's nature to us, but n is even. So suppose n is 2d plus 2. Then the total weight group of the spinal variety equals uh, to this sum with a style similar to the other case. But the indexing set is different. You have these two brackets contains element zero one. So, and also the shift is divided by a different function, rho pi. So uh, to rho t as we defined in the old dimension case, minus uh, this number. So v is either zero or one. And uh, this can also be interpreted by even shifted Young diagram. Okay, so that's the main theorem. Now let's turn to proof. So before jumping into the proof, the idea of the proof, uh, I should remind you some tools in weight group. So, tool one, uh, this you have two periodicity on the twists. And uh, this is a bomber. When he defies uh, this weight groups, yeah, he already have this, very simple. So you can work on X any scheme with one over two in the global section of OX and LMN are both light bundles. And uh, this periodicity isomorphism from weight group of X with uh, coefficients in the line bundle L to L uh, tensor 
two copies of M. This sends a form E beta to E times this live bundle M, uh, tensoring this canonical form. So this is the canonical form. And uh, also uh, second tool. Uh, I put in two theorems together. Even such, this is a killer. Plus uh, Boma uh, localization. So uh, the setting here is uh, suppose you have Z and X. Uh, both regular and uh, Z is closed in X and uh, you have U is the open complement of Z. And you also require this to be regular embedding of core dimension D. Okay. And uh, if this is a regular embedding of core dimension D, you can take its normal bundle. Let's call this is iota, this is v. So n iota is the normal bundle. And uh, assume you also have a light bundle L on X. Now uh, D5. Omega iota to be the determinant of the dual of this normal bundle. And uh, in this setting, you have a 12 term periodic long exact sequence. So with respect to this U, X, and Z, this goes to And uh, this uh, called a uh, connecting homomorphism. And uh, this is the push forward. You know. And uh, this map is the pullback of this V here. And uh, goes to the shift plus one. 
and then continues. Uh, this is a 12 term because weight group has a four periodicity. Okay, so that's the second tool, localization DV search. Now I'm talking about the second tool, homotopy invariance. And uh, one can find this in Gala 2003. So if X is regular with one over two, and the P from E to X is a, a five bundle. By this, I mean it's uh, Zariski, uh, Zariski locally uh, fine. Okay. And the L is a lie bundle. If you have this setting, then uh, pull back of P. from X to E is an isomorphism. Okay, and the next one is the most important tool for us to compute spinal varieties. This is a blow up setup of uh, Boma Kames. Okay, so let's uh, take uh, this assumption as in the P2. Okay, and the Z is regular, X regular, and uh, Z to X is a regular embedding. Now, uh, suppose the uh, core dimension D is bigger or equal to two, and uh, we have the following setting. So you can take the blow up of iota and also exceptional fiber. And this is a Cartesian diagram. But the exceptional fiber in the blow up has a core dimension one. And uh, the key data you want is you want a scheme Y together with two map, alpha and alpha total. And uh, such that alpha is a uh, a five bundle and a, a V tilto composed with alpha tilto is alpha. So this uh, red, red data is uh, you want. Suppose you have this and uh, So for H star, which I take to be K-theory or Chow group, uh, these are 
oriented cohomology theory, uh, homotopy invariant, and it has DV such. So the localization sequence you also have. And uh, the claim is this localization sequence splits. And uh, the splitting is given by following step. So you first uh, take the pole back of alpha. And uh, since this is uh, a star bundle, so this is an isomorphism. And uh, you take half a total upper star. It's take you to blow up. And then you take the push forward of pi because pi is proper, it's the blow up. So you can push forward. And uh, this gives you the splitting. Okay. Uh, so what happens to weight groups? And the Bomer comments, they uh, observe the following first. So you start with the Picard group of X. And uh, now you take a V up a star, go to here. And then uh, this goes down to the of Y. And then that's uh, pi up a star. So this is V total up star. And uh, this is uh, isomorphism. V up a star is uh, isomorphism. Since the co dimension of Z in X is equal, equal to two. Okay. Uh, to see this, you may. Uh, Write the PK in terms of, of child one, child upper one, and uh, can use the localization sequence there. And uh, uh, we can rewrite the diagram. And a PK of the blow up is always isomorphic to PK of X plus Z. And uh, the first pi upper star can be interpreted by one zero. And uh, uh, I make this arrow in a reversed way. So this is one zero.
And uh, this diagram doesn't commute. There, there, there's a square. And uh, it's different by the number lambda in here. So, uh, A, so there are two cases. If uh, lambda of L, Kangaroo into D minus one, or two. They, if they have a different parity, lambda and D, then you have uh, the situation similar to the oriented case. So, and you have. And uh, similar as before. And uh, the push forward in weight groups always uh, taking this orientation inside omega. Uh, you can think of its uh, local coefficient system. So this gives you the splitting. And uh, here, this Ly, you can define it as L uh, goes through this Picard group. Okay. And the main re reason for you to have this condition, lambda L, I'm going to D minus one more two is because you have the following. So you look at the isomorphism from P cow below up to Z plus X, this uh, omega pi tensor uh, upper star L will send to D minus one L. Okay. And uh, if uh, D minus one and uh, lambda L has the same parity, and uh, you can have uh this diagram uh, otherwise it, it's nonsense and uh, you can't have it's commutative diagram and uh if uh, otherwise the other case lambda l congruent and to d mod 2 then you don't have a splitting, but you can interpret the connecting homomorphism uh, 
uh, as follows. So, connecting homomorphism map is to here. And uh, so let's uh, go back to look at this diagram. Uh, the connecting homomorphism uh, is from U to Z, and uh, you want to go from here to here. So that's the key idea. And uh, So that is a pi total lower star. Okay, so the claim uh, is this is commute. Again, uh, you need to analyze these line bundles. Uh, by the pullback, this live bundle actually goes to things like this, okay? And uh, this equals to LZ of lambda L, as we uh, discussed before. here mode two so and uh why this diagram commutes is you have the uh, other lemma of former commas p car of e actually e is the uh, projectivation of this normal bundle Iota. And uh, why are this PK group of this projective bundle? You have this. This twist, okay, sending to LZ and D. And uh, if lambda congruent to D mod two, and you have this D is the same with this lambda L, and so this diagram commutes. Okay. Uh, now we have introduced all our tools in weight groups, and I will talk about the proof of our theorem A and B on this uh, even shifted Young diagrams.
Okay, so we consider the closed embedding. Uh, OG E1 is the sub closed the sub scheme. In OG plus N with E1 inside LN. And uh, this takes this LN to Ln, okay. So this is a closed embedding. Something you need to know is uh, this is a regular embedding of co-dimension n minus one. You can check the dimension on left hand side and the right hand side. But uh, to check the dimension on the left hand side, we need uh, the following results. You can define a map from the left hand side to uh, OG plus N minus one. But in this E1 flag, if you remember, we defined at the beginning. So this is nothing but the OG plus N minus one. So the left hand side is isomorphic to uh, the casing N minus one. And uh, this is uh, isomorphism. At least I should tell you the, how this map goes. It goes from E1 in Ln, goes to the quotient. So you need to check. This is a uh, Lagrangian in E upper one. Okay. Then you can uh, you can work out this regular embedding if you have this lemma. So the next is the. Lemma saying uh, we have the blow up set up for the spinal varieties. So let's start with uh, this embedding. So uh, this is the open complement. So using notations as uh, in this T4, this is a fiber square. Okay. So the thing we want to construct in here, it's 
uh, OG minus E1. This is in the other component. It's not in the same components. We have two components, but uh, to get this uh, five bundle, you have to work on the other components. And uh, Uh, this map composition, let's call it pi tilde pi. Uh, on functor of points, and uh, maybe it's easier to understand what I do. So, uh, this guy on functor of points, I write as all the Ln with E1 inside it. So, and U plus is E1, uh, which is not a admissible sub bundle of Ln. And uh, you have this map. And also, uh, an observation here is the blow up can be written as the uh, uh, pair. But with Ln and Ln pi in different components. So, uh, this is a sub scheme in OG plus N times OG minus E1. So it's the product of this and this inside there and uh, satisfy this dimension formula. Okay. And uh, OG minus is uh, E1 of Ln pi by this pi. Uh, I mean, it's in the other component, okay? And, uh, now you take the pullback of uh, this diagram. And uh, you get the exceptional fiber. So, okay, and uh, the main thing to divide is this alpha. <clears throat> okay, so let me uh sketch the proof. So the first thing you certainly need to check is a uh, middle thing dividing here is the indeed the below half. And the second, I need to divide this alpha. Okay. 
So I need to send this ln with e1, not the admissible sub bundle of ln to something ln pi, which I need to construct. And uh, so let's uh, start with this basic is that sequence. No, this is I. And uh, this is I beta beta is the form on E. The kernel of this map is the orthogonal of Ln because it's uh, a Lagrangian, so this is exact. And you have E1 in here. And, uh, which is not a uh, that means about sub bundle. This means it's a sub bundle in this L and two. And then uh, you can take the quotient. And uh, you can also take the orthogonal of E1. And uh, you denote this composition by an arrow. Then you take the kernel of uh, this composition. So this gives you the construction of Lm pi. Okay, also things need to check. You check Ln pi really lands in the other component. And also you need to check alpha is an, a phi bundle. So to check it's uh, Landing in the carbon, uh, the other component you reduce to the case of a field. And then there you can choose the basis and uh, uh, evaluating this dimension of intersection of vectors basis. And uh, to check it's a, a five bundle, uh, you can take the standard open cover of Grassmannian, then restrict it to the spinal varieties. And you check it's locally a five there. So, okay, and the uh, remark, uh, we can change the parity uh, and get So, want to change this parity. And uh, you can take this pi, 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 pi. Uh, yes, and uh, this is a minus, minus the other component. But then now it's lensing the plus component. So, and uh, also one thing need to note is this pi tuto pi, pi is precisely the composition before. So this diagram symmetric and uh, two diagrams are symmetric to each other. And, uh, okay, so
uh, lemma. So we can compute the Picard group with the spinal varieties as uh, the Grassmannian. C plus Picard of the base. And the two is uh, this uh, omega iota is determinant of the normal bundle. It's uh, not the generator in the Picard group, but it's uh, the trivial bundle inside the Picard mode two. And the uh, three, this uh, lambda of O, recall this is in T4, with the two of four we mentioned before. This number is zero in, uh, so let's also write this as zero. Okay, so uh, with th this information, and uh, we can compute something. So let me uh, do some trivial things first. So you apply the localization and deviage, and uh, you get. Uh, this Okay, so uh, by the T1, two period DCT on the twist, you can take this out by choosing a trivialization. And now you uh, have this is a sequence. And also T3 uh, homotopy invariance. implies this is weight group of uh, OG minus in the other component. And also <clears throat> OG minus in the other component. Okay. So with uh, T1, T2, T3, you already can compute uh, the non-trivial light bundle case. Okay, and uh, the proof uh, relies on the following observation. OG plus two is P1, and uh, by a result of nana shave water,
Naja. You have P1 is zero for any shift. And you can see if I put the L, uh, L is O1 in here, then it's always this non trivial test. And uh, let me call this localization sequence star. And then you can use induction. And uh, for three, you reduce it to two. And uh, yes, because uh, this and uh, uh, because uh, this and this are zero, so the middle is zero. You inductively do this. And uh, so we don't need to consider the non-trivial lie bundle case. It's always trivial. Now, uh, for the other case, We have the following result. Okay. And uh, basically, this is uh, T4. So I want to list out this assumption. So it's of different parity. And if this is even, then M minus one is uh, odd, so core dimension is odd. Now T4 implies star breaks down into short exact uh, split sequence. And uh, so this gives you the result. Now, uh, from this proposition B, so there's an even case. reduces to the n is all the case. Uh, yes, you reduce this n even to this n minus one. So all you need to do now is uh, the n is odd. So let me assume n is odd. And in this case, n minus one, this is a core dimension, it's even. And uh, this number lambda O is also even. And uh, T42 uh, implies 
you have the connecting homomorphism can be interpreted by a geometric way. The exact sequence doesn't split. But uh, you have a nice description of the connecting homomorphism. So this is the localization sequence. And uh, uh, this localization sequence factors through the exceptional fiber. This is the exception of fiber. Uh, oh. Okay, so uh, how to Manage this map. So that this is a isomorphism. So uh, yes. So the first observation is this. This it's O G minus n minus one. This is O G plus n minus one. So it backs to the uh, proposition B, I can decompose it into two components. And uh, uh, yes, let's decompose them. So by decomposing this, recall we use this uh, T4A, this blow up setup. And I want to write out things is explicit using uh, this notation EY. Okay. So let me call this uh, IOTA1. And E2 is recall you have the flag at the beginning, this E2 coming from this flag generated by basis E1, E2. And uh, Yes, this is OG minus E1 of N. Let's call this alpha 1. Iota 1 tilde, and also alpha 1 tilde. And uh, <clears throat> This is a pi one tilde pi. Okay, so this is the diagram coming from previous case, uh, proposition B. The uh, on factor of points, 
and uh, you need to use this new no notation translated into here. Okay. So uh, as you can see, this is slightly different, but uh, uh, we put putting this E1, E2 in. And uh, also you can change the parity in here. And uh, get, get a... A new diagram. Okay, so now I can form my key diagram now. Uh, yes, I want to analyze this uh, blue map here. So let me write out this balloon map. It's just composition. And uh, by the proposition B, we have uh, split is a sequence. Okay, so it goes like this. 
This is Ayo Tawan Lower Star, V1 Upper Star. And uh, this is V1 Pi Upper Star. This is Ayo Tawan Pi Lower Star. And uh, everything splits. So I have uh, T4 implies this is splitting. And this is, uh, I call this beta. And also I have, uh, this is a beta total, let's say. And uh, I want to an analyze uh, how this components goes via this middle map. So firstly, I can go from here, here to here. Uh, with this splitting, I can go from here to here. But uh, how can I go from here to here? That's I need a nice distribution of this left splitting. And uh, this is actually the key for proving the results. So divide this left to splitting. And uh, lemma, uh, let's call this dagger. Uh, there exists a left splitting gamma such that uh, this diagram commutes. Okay, so and uh, this map is uh, beta is that there's a splitting here. And then this is a uh, gamma of V1 of a star. And, uh, this uh, diagram commutes. This alpha one is uh, is basically the uh, phi bundle. Uh, from U plus E2 to OG minus E2. And uh, accept this uh, lemma first. And I will 
show the CRM uh, A. If you have this lemma, then there is a show to the sequence. Like this, okay. And uh, yes, be, because uh, this lemma uh, says you kills this and this and survive with this and this. And this thing by the T3 uh, phi uh, bundle, homotopy invariance. You, you get this. So this is uh, the result. And uh, this minus three, it's because uh, this is a uh, shift minus two. Then you move to the other part. And uh, you have to uh, minus one here. And uh, this is a sequence in place. A short exact sequence of W told S module. So this W told S is a graded ring, and uh, you have. Uh, an exact sequence of graded uh, modules. Okay, so now th this is a trick now. So this is a OG plus N minus two. This is OG plus N minus two, but with the left hand side with a shift. And uh, this is a sequence actually splits. You can only see this from uh, the modules, the graded module structure. And uh, you use the induction on here, and uh, you can assume uh, this guy is a uh, Graded projective W told S module. Since it's projective, and uh, this short data sequence splits. But uh, you can't see this from uh, individual degree. So you have to consider them all. And also, uh, you reduce to OG plus N plus one. Which is the base? So OG plus one is W told S, which is uh, of three of rank one certainly projected. And uh, this implies CO run A. And uh, CO run A together with proposition B implies. CRM B. Okay. And uh, that's the uh, proof. And uh, I left with the proof of this prop, this lemma and uh, also this construction of gamma for the 
construction of gamma, I need uh, uh, this axis intersection formula of Facel. I don't know if I have time to talk about this. Maybe. Uh, I fear not. I mean, we, yes, are, we are so, already over time, so. Yes, so I, I think I should end up here. So maybe, yes. Okay, thank you very much for your talk. Yes. Are there any questions? Okay, I have some questions. Uh, the first mm -hmm. question is, uh, am I right that uh, this description in theorem A is a kind of non-canonical? I mean, you said in the end, uh, uh, when you constructed some splittings, they, they come mm -hmm. just out of that some modules are projective. So yes. these splittings are not canonical, right? That's not 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 a canonical, but uh, I mean you can find out the basis in here. We uh, we haven't done that yet, but uh, I think it's doable. You can find this super varieties, then uh, pull it back via this uh, subjective map and uh, uh, make, making all this long okay. diagrams corresponds to the super varieties. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so and uh, a related question, uh, can you also write down this basis in terms of some explicit uh, classes? I mean, not Schubert varieties, but some classes, I mean, some quadratic, quadratic spaces or something like that, or some characteristic classes of tautological bundles. Tautological bundles, uh, yes, and uh, this is a good question for this. Maybe you need to have the ring ring structure. Yeah. And uh, uh, even for the Grassmannian, I don't think anyone done that yet. You don't know what kind of little Ricardson rule on type A, the Grassmannian. So yeah, I think maybe first you need to work out this for type A. Mm, it and uh, for, the for there yeah. you can study this chain, chain class to see how they behave under this product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, it's a good way to work out. Yeah, but it looks to be quite difficult, of course. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, someone has to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't know. And another connected question, uh, can you say anything if the, uh, the, quadru the symmetric space that you started with was not split? I mean, not just the hyperbolic one, but Mm -hmm. Some arbitrary symmetric space. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so the problem is, uh, we we use this uh two components. Yeah. Uh, I I saw isomorphic, but if this is not hyperbolic, I don't know if this is true. This is a uh yeah i mean i think it's possibly not because uh in general metabolic space is not hi hyperbolic you have a counter example so basically on the affi uh the, the, uh everything reduced to the hi hyperbolic because metabolic is hyperbolic if s is a phi Mm -hmm. But if S is not a phi, uh, this is not not a true, and uh, I don't think you have isomorphic components, and uh, maybe you need to do something else. Yeah, I, there's more things to say. Okay, yeah. and if the symmetric form is not metabolic at all, I mean, it's, uh, say it, over a general field, take some an anisotropic form. 
and look at ah, you you mean not not as a maximal one right you mean the uh the uh say o g k n right the k into n k no, is not no 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 i i mean that uh, you started with this hyperbolic form and mm -hmm. you can also just take some some symmetric form on some sp space and you, you also have this kind of twisted OGN. And you can ask whether you can compute. Ah, OK. You, you, you want the uh, lie bundle is not, not a trivial on this hyperbolic? No, no. I mean, uh, the, mm -hmm. the, the spinal variety, the non-split spinal variety, I mean, which corresponds to a non-split form. Mm. I don't know. I ne never think of this. So yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe yeah, maybe so, yeah. One one can check this. You you using our strategy. Maybe something one can say. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank sorry, you for the you invitation. Please hmm? also comment on this. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm sorry for this silly question, but if you take like quadrics instead of like maximal gross minus mm -hmm. is it known already yes and uh, this is done in our paper uh child weight groups of quadrics and uh, uh we did it for child weight but uh, for weight group you can also do this and also we have results for uh non-split quadrics so for, for the split quadrics, you can do this below up setup. But for the non split quadrics, you don't have this below up setup. But you can work on the semi orthogonal decomposition of the quadric and uh, do a different thing. Okay, so the paper is called Chow Wit of Quadrics and it's yes. you and some okay thank you very much it's me and uh, Jens Hombosito and uh, Marcus Ziverovis okay thank you very much and for the same orthogonal decomposition does it respect mm -hmm. the duality in some sense uh, for this I don't know because it seems uh, OG uh, even uh, semi orthogonal decomposition on OG is a conjecture so we don't know the semi orthogonal decomposition oh. Okay. And uh, therefore, I cannot perform this uh, method using semi orthogonal decomposition. Okay. And what about uh, other Grassmannians? I mean, O, the, that you already mentioned, this O, G, K, comma, N, or something like this. Uh, for this, uh, yes, uh, for this, you still have the below up set, uh, set, set up, but you need to uh, have this Y landing in some Schubert varieties, which is not smooth. So yeah. it's a singular. And yeah. you have to work on the co coherent uh, weight groups, but the coherent weight groups, uh, it's uh, written in this go scheme, again, but the Schubert varieties can sometimes not go time. So it's, it, it is a Cohen Macaulay, mm -hmm. but uh, we, we don't know how to do that, so. Okay, so in this maximal case, you, you, everything is smooth and because of yes. that you can do it, okay. Yeah, yes, in the maximal case, everything is smooth. I, I don't need to worry about the super varieties, so.